Mr. Garside, back for another year. Indeed, you know, excited to be back again in the hunt for trophies. Um, obviously, I didn't play as much last year, so excited to get back on the ice again in August. Um, you came in here as a youngster. Um, you're now approaching 30. Um, how's that feeling? Do you know, I was thinking about this the other day. I came here when I was 21. Sheds was, I think he was 29. And now Hookie's coming. He's 21 and I'm 29. So it's... It's all starting again. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in, this year has been really frustrating for you. Um, you had to spend a bit of time in the, the media box with myself, and uh, <laughs> and that's not easy. But uh, you'd certainly much rather be on the ice and heading in the next year. Do you think you got a point to prove? And and uh, obviously because of the, the season that you, you you missed quite a lot of games. Absolutely. I mean, obviously spending so long out. So with such a change over in players, we have more seasons. You know, you always have something to prove every year. But last year not playing, I really feel like coming in this season of. I'll be excited to play. It's going to be it's going to be good coming back in, you know, fully fit. I'm really excited to play. I think I'll be in August again, just with missing, you know, it'll be it'll be ten months since I've played. So I'm going to be, you know, like a ten year old at Christmas, I think, in August. <laughs> How's your rehab going? Uh, very well now. Uh, obviously, for three months after I got hurt, we kind of they didn't really. They had to sort of wait and see how it was progressing. It just didn't progress like we were wanting. And eventually, we got surgery in February. But ever since then, it's been a, a steady improvement. Um, I'm probably not too far away now from getting back on the ice and playing again. Um, so in the summer, or when it comes to August, I'll be I'll be ready to go. Adam Keith, yeah. teammate for eight years. No, sorry, six, six years because he's only in for six years. Yeah. But uh, teammate for six years now, the coach. Yeah. Uh, how do you think he handled that transition? Very well. It's obviously very tough coming from a team that you've played on for six years and then coming into coach. You know, he knows a lot of the guys, and he's gone from being a captain. You know, and one of the guys that we. You know, you'd have a laugh with, and you know, one of the guys in the room to be in the coach, the authority figure. Um, but you know, he transitioned very well, and he, for the most part, I think he done extremely well organising the team and getting us going out there and playing our best. Again, I was talking to Sheds there a few minutes ago and, and Stephen Murphy, and they're all wanting to get part of this uh, uh, big, big league next year after the, the season's over in the league league to get a chance to play against Canada and USA, Russia, and what have you. You still aspirations for Team GB? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, I watched all the games and I was extremely ecstatic for everybody over there. Uh, come, you know, winning gold. It was at the same time you're watching, they're thinking, you know, being injured. It's, it's, it's almost disappointing that you didn't even have the chance to try and make the team. So, uh, you know, this season is a big year for for me going and prove myself again and then try and make the GB team. Uh, can I touch on the Edinburgh Capitals? Obviously, yeah. they're now looking as if they're yeah. they're going out of business. Um, you started your professional career there. Yeah. What, what's what? Do you, what's well? What's your feeling? Obviously, you had, you had a couple of good seasons there yourself. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm sad because it used to be a team. They, they used to give quite a lot of chance to young British guys. Like uh, me and Ben O'Connor both came through there and played their sort of early professional years there. And the, whilst I was there, there was there was another couple of young guys there who played. Um, it's, it's just disappointing that they haven't. I think the league's grown in the last five years, and they just they haven't been able to grow with it. Basically, uh, it's, it's, it's very disappointing for the fans that they, you know they're not going to have a team next year. It's, it's just sad all round, really. So possibly only eleven teams in the elite league next year. Giants putting together a new roster. Mm-hmm. Um, championships. Yeah, I mean that's the reason I come back every year is to try and to try and win something. We've always got ambitions here of winning the league, winning Challenge Cup, winning playoffs. So uh, it's one of the the major draws to players coming here. Is, or an ambition.